Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be looking at how we can use Discord. Now we are shifting the group from WhatsApp to Discord because um, there's been more interest than what was planned. The beauty with Discord is it can allow more members and also there's a much richer interaction. Now in this video, we know most of you have never used Discord or you've not heard about it. And the goal of this video is I'm going to take you step by step on how to sign up for Discord, how do you register and how do you use Discord. I hope by the end of this video you shall know everything about Discord and you'll be able to understand how Discord works. Now I'm going to be relating Discord to WhatsApp so that you can understand how Discord works. Now the first step is, as with every other app, is visit discord.com. Discord is available on Android, it's available on Windows, it's available on iOS. So you can go in the app and just type in Discord. And after you're done with that, um, when you go to the website, you can also register in the app, but I'm going to just show the demonstration um, to register from the website. Now this is, it's quite easy. It's like registering for an email. Um, so you can click login. And when they take you to the login page, you click register. And now here you just type in all, all the emails. You type in your email, you type in the display name you want to appear. You type in the username, the username is quite important. Type in the password, type in your date of birth, and then you continue. Now once all these details have been typed in, they're going to ask you to verify, so click in your email to confirm that you've signed up for Discord. Now when you open up the Discord app, it can be quite very confusing. So let's start. When you open up the Discord app, we have the bar on the left hand side. The bar on the left hand side represents something we call servers. So in Discord they're called servers. But think of them as communities in WhatsApp. So they are communities. So some of you are part of different communities and then under these communities there are different groups that you can chat in. So it's the same thing with Discord. Discord has different servers that you're looking at here. So here we have the Microsoft server, we have this, and also if you join the Hiwa Academy Mentorship Program, we also have a server for the Hiwa Academy Mentorship Program. So when you click the server, when you click the server, what you're going to find is, you're going to find under it something we call categories. Categories and channels. So here we have, uh, one, we have the voices, the voices, channels, and then we have the categories. For example, in this case, there's a voice category, there's a read-only category, and under it are different channels. So think of it this way. Uh, you have different WhatsApp groups, which are what we call the channels, but then those channels are grouped under categories. I hope that makes sense. So for example, if you go to the one for 3DS Max, uh, what we have is, for example, we have one channel called general chats, okay? Then one category called general chats. Then we have one for information. So for example, if you want to know about 3DS Max news, there is a channel that's dedicated uh, for that. So people can chat in this channel. And remember the chatting is just going to be the same uh, for this. So you can find in that, in that chat, which we are calling a channel, you can have different interactions. So the channels where you may not be able to post. For example, server updates, you may find only the admin is able to post in that. But you, you look at that point to get insights. Um, but then you have where you have uh, general topics. So this is where everyone can chat. And you can see at the bottom here where there's the plus sign, you can upload a file, you can create a thread for people to discuss, or you can create a poll. And the beauty with this is then you can have the same discussions as you're having on WhatsApp. Okay, so again, let's use the Hiwa Academy Mentorship Program as a start off basis. So we have different categories. For example, we have the information category. Uh, we have the support category where you get support and we have the text channels category. And then we have the FAQs where you can find a frequently asked question. So if you've just come, uh, you can check out the welcome category the welcome channel. So the welcome channel is one that's going to welcome you here and you're going to know everything you need to know about Taiwan Academy. 
Then under that, we have different channels. There's, there are channels which are going to give you civil 3D news updates. So for example, we want to know about what's the latest update on civil 3D as the updates come out. There's the civil 3D news. Um, there's the rules. What rules should we adhere to when we are using the Hiwa Academy Mentorship Program server? Okay. Then there's the general chat. Now, the general chat is where we're going to have everything else uh, while we are chatting. And this is where we hope you will have all the different interactions. But for example, if you want to share information, it will be very good to share information in. This can be uh, PDFs or something. This can be in the information sharing uh, channel. If you want something off topic that's not in relation to the mentorship program, there's also an off topic channel. If you need support, we've indicated support in both areas. Then there's also one called introduce yourself. So you can introduce yourself where you are from. And this, we're going to explain to you how to introduce yourself, uh, where you're from, where you work, and uh, what you'd love to do. Now, resources and links, we're going to put here a lot of resources, but you can also share your work in progress. And this is a group where you share screenshots on the work you're doing, and we're able to give you feedback. So in a nutshell, we have a server that has categories and channels. So think of the server like the WhatsApp community and under that WhatsApp community you have different groups. But here we can group the different WhatsApp groups under categories. And then those other different WhatsApp groups have different things they are talking about. So I would not expect you to post anything, anything in Civil 3D News or Welcome. Most of your chats are going to be in the text channels where you're posting either on general chat, if you're sharing information, if if, you're, if people need support and you can provide them support, um, resources and links and all. And that makes it easy. If you, have, if you need to know frequently asked questions and the answers to them, you can see them here. So we'd love for you to check that out. Now, since you've understood that, how do you join a channel? So there's this plus sign here that you are seeing, and these are the different channels um, that you have. So you can click add the server. And when you click add the server, you can create your own server. You can use a template, for example, if you want to create a server from this. But most cases, most of you are just trying to join a server. So when you click join a server, there are two ways. One, you can, one, you can use an invite link. Now that's what we're sharing in the group for most of you to join. Or two is if you don't have the invite link, you can search. Now, the Highway Academy Mentorship Program, you can't search it, but for example, you can search here and there are a multitude of servers that you can join. There's one for me, Journey, the number of them. Okay, so that's how you join a server. Now, our hope is once you have joined and you, you're able to chat, you can learn most of the other features. You can learn most of the other features as we go along. Okay, so now you have joined the server you're able to chat and all. There's some features that uh, one should know about. When you click on the left-hand side, you can upload a file, create a thread and create a poll, which is good. Um, the number of GIFs and images that are part of this, the multitude uh, regarding, um, regarding uh, what we can do in Discord. Now, other details regarding um, the uh, other packages that Discord offers and all, that's the detail. But I think for a startup, um, this should be enough. Now we're going to share more videos that can give you more details about Discord, but in a nutshell, this should get you started.